So happy to have you here for a midweek edition of... It'll be the Wizards off the tip. And the Lakers starting five. We've got Jared Vanderbilt. He's out there with LeBron James. D'Angelo Russell is out there with Davis. And it's Reeves in a shooting guard. Morris can't hit. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. And we've heard LeBron James say he's obsessed with win or bust. And this Lakers franchise certainly has that same approach. But aside from their 2020 title, there's been a lot of frustration. Now, can he and the Lakers get back where they expect to be? Here's Porzingis following the score by the Lakers. It's Beal on the wing. The three. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Down in the corner, Beal shoots with confidence. Just one more area he can score from consistently. And Davis gets it to go. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He will gladly take those. Beal shot is off. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. James. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. And ladies and gentlemen, if you were wondering what it's like playing against LeBron, it is not fun. He's too big, he's too strong, and just gets the contact and the finish. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. It's good. He got in excellent position, then takes it right back up. The Lakers have gone three of three so far from the floor. Offensive rebound. Shot is good by Reeves. Reeves. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Outside Vanderbilt. The shot, no good. And Washington the other way now. Neal, the pass to Morris. Plenty of room to knock down that one. Okay, let's throw out the analytics for a moment. If he's taking the mid-range, it's a winning shot. Here's Reeves. The rebound by the Wizards. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Morris passes to Beal. And then Beal with the dunk. One of the most desired trade targets in the league. Seemingly every year, Beal is just a baller. Here's Reeves. And again, the Lakers, no good. Washington's gone one or two from three-point land so far. Morris passes to Porzingis over Vanderbilt. Porzingis misses. Outside Russell over Morris. And his first shot of the game, no good. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Yeah, this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. All right, let's quickly break down the game and what we've seen so far from the Wizards, guys. Well, you have to imagine they're feeling pretty confident the way things have gone. But they can't afford to get complacent because of the early success. There is still a lot of basketball to be played. Denny Avdia out there with Kristaps Porzingis. Then it's Delon Wright. Then it's Kendrick Nunn. And it's Kispert in at the three, the small forward. That's the group for Washington right now. He knows his job on the glass, and he does it well. Cleaning it up and sending it right back. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Bradley Beal played for Coach Greg Popovich with the U.S. national team, and Pop said, quote, he's hard to keep up with. His balance and movement are very impressive. He stops on a dime, can pull up and shoot. That, along with his excellent footwork, are the most impressive things for me. Brian? Yeah, great breakdown there, Allie. Thank you. Porzingis. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. I love whenever Porzingis hits the offensive boards. He has the height needed to hurt defenses in this regard. Here's Bamba up and in from the low block. 
Bamba's got four points this quarter. You know, with all the dunkers out there, some players make sure they don't end up on too many posters. Grant, you ever uh, make a business decision? Yeah, B.A., yeah, you know, I've made a few business decisions through my career. Look, as a competitor, you want to make sure that you can play defense, give it your all, contest at the rim when you feel that you can. But when someone like a Vince Carter in the midst of insanity, that's when you make a business decision. And that's a smart decision. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. First free throw is good. And so he hits both. Last season, Washington was hot out of the gates. They started 10-3. and three. But things did not end well. You know, and after that hot start, B.A., a 25-44 and 44 ending for the Wizards. Failing to make the play-in game as well. Just a disappointing season after the promise Washington showed early. Got to give them credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. LeBron, an important two points, not just on the scoreboard, but also for a little bit of momentum. And so it's Washington with it, following the score by the Lakers. Right against Schroeder. Porzingis in the post. Over Bamba. Porzingis misses. Well, okay, well, I like his aggressiveness, but, like, the defense was waiting on him that time. Schroeder can't get it to go. The Wizards with a lead. Pass to right. The teardrop. Rebounded by the Lakers. James has got four rebounds in the game. The three from Bamba. Right with the board. The Wizards have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. Now we know he can hit threes, but Chris Stapp's showing he can slam it too. Here's Bamba. That one falls, coming off Schroeder's feed. Bamba's got six. Any possession that ends with him finishing at the rim is ideal. Here's the teardrop, and no problem from none as he finishes at the rim. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. And the basket by Achimura. High IQ pass by LeBron. He reads the floor and gets it to the open shooter. Here's none. Three seconds left. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. It's the Wizards. They're up by three. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. You look at Kristaps Porzingis. What a contribution. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. The question now is, will the defense keep letting him punish them inside? Or did Coach have some new ideas for them? And the Lakers, looking at who they've got. Troy Brown out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then there's LeBron James. Then it's D'Angelo Russell. And it's Reeves in at the two. It's James on the wing. Guarded by Morris. So they take the lead. James has gotten his third basket of the night. Yeah, put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. First team foul. Beal, the pass to Morris. This one for three. He's off on that one. And Los Angeles the other way now. And just one of the most impressive titles in league history, guys. The 2020 Lakers winning it all in the Orlando bubble. 
a testament to LeBron James and that team. Offensive board, Gafford. And the layup is good. Gafford's got his second basket of the night. A hard-fought matchup. Seven lead changes thus far. And these teams have been sparring from the get-go. Neither able to land the knockout blow. You know, that 2020 bubble title for the Lakers, what made it so difficult? You know, B.A., the mental grind of all that time in the bubble. Three months in the same place. NBA players are used to being in four cities in a week. So it really was a different kind of challenge for them. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Thanks a lot. Well, Brian, the Wizards have been aggressively reshaping their roster. What they haven't done is tear it down and start a rebuild. That's often the most popular route for teams stuck in the middle, but the Wizards seem to be hoping they can catch lightning in a bottle. Back to you. No appetite for the restart, Allie. Thanks. I I'm going to be really honest. Like, watching him command an offense, it's a thing of beauty. Not many players have been able to score and assist. Pass to Gafford. And the dunk by Gafford. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. The Lakers call timeout. Kispert's checked in for Washington. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Walker, he's checked in for Brown. Achimura comes in for Vanderbilt. Beasley's checked in for LeBron. And Bamba has subbed in for Reeves. Nice shot by Walker. And it's amazing. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time. Yeah, these guys are leaving it all on the floor tonight. Down low. Here's Kispert. And he makes no mistake. Slam. And plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent to his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Beasley, that's good. Beasley. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Washington trailing. Pass to Morris. Let's the three fly. Knocks it down from distance. Morris has got five now. Slick feed by Beal. Taking advantage of the hole in the defense to set up a wide open man. The shot by Russell, no good. For Washington, they've gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Yeah, that one's good. Yeah, these teams are playing with incredible energy. Yeah, the second half in stark contrast with the first. Coach must have gotten on them a little bit at halftime. Coaches loathe empty possessions. you got to be able to hit the easy ones. Here's Gafford. Uses the glass on the layup. And it's a six-point Washington lead. And finding his teammate in stride, he led his guy perfectly. And so it's the Washington Wizards leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. A lot of times a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times. 
Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. DeLon Wright is out there with Bradley Beal. Then it's Kristaps Porzingis. Then it's Denny Avdia. And it's Kuzma in at the three. That's the group for Washington right now. Puts it up from 12. And Davis with the block. To the inside. Basket counts. Davis has got four points in the quarter. <laughs> Win or lose, this is the fight you want to see from your players. You can't question the desire of these teams. It's going to be difficult for either side to get separation. Porzingis misses. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Here's Reeves. Tries again. And Davis lays it in. Wow, well, look, it's no secret that Davis can be a dominant figure on the glass. And he just turns rebounds into points so easily. Here's Beal. And again, Washington, no good. The Lakers trail. Davis down low, working on Porzingis. Ooh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Wizards? Well, Davis can't get in his own head here. Just breathe and do your best. The Wizards making a switch here. Nunn's checked in. And the Lakers also making a change. LeBron, he's checked in for Achimura. Three-pointer, Beal. James with the rebound. James has got a rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Schroeder. Yes, they get the go-ahead bucket. And the Lakers lead by one. This is the very definition of a back-and-forth contest. Yes, neither side taking its foot off the gas. I'm expecting a spectacular finish. The Wizards making a switch here. Gafford's checked in. Russell's checked in for the Lakers. 116 left in the game. Now here's none. Pass to Kuzma. Fires for three. Drains the triple. Kuzma's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Oh, not one to lack confidence. Kuzma won't hesitate to pull the trigger in the big moments. Not afraid. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Now a timeout called by Washington. Morris, he's checked in for none. The Lakers also with a sub. Hachimura's checked in. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Wes Unsell Jr. was discussing with his players. He told them this is a game that we can win. It's a game we should win. We've matched those guys step for step. From this point forward, let's try to force them to play at our tempo. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. James with the ball. Beal picks him up. One of the best to ever do it. Braun with a big trick to the one. Ooh, knocks down the clutch free throw. LeBron James taking two shots. And so he drops them both. And it's a two-point ball game. See, it's easy to see why his teammates trust him. He's a leader on this team and loves coming up huge in the clutch. Talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. And the Lakers call time here. They're behind by one. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. All right, guys, what's your take? With the time left, I think they've got to be looking for a quick shot here. And the Lakers with some changes. Gabriel, he's checked in for Vanderbilt. And Bamba has subbed in for Achimura. Here's Russell. Shot from the inbound. Oh, he nails it! Clutch performance by Russell. He keeps his cool and just zeroes in on finding his shot. Here's Beal. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Yeah, and you have to try to make something happen. Maybe they have to be aggressive at this point, even if it's risking a foul. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives him a lead. And this is how you execute. Creating any type of separation is huge right now. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. They're behind by one. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Walker, he's checked in for Russell. 
Lakers. 29 seconds left in the game. James, and they get it back. Got to be careful shooting around Porzingis. His length is so capable of erasing shots. Now a timeout called by Washington. They're behind by one. 24 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Beal. And another shot. A big block from the big fella, Anthony Davis. Putting every inch of that seven foot eight things man to work there. Nitz trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. And the second free throw, no good. Tough break there. Morris outside. Shoots over Davis. No good! And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. First personal foul. He hits the first one. And that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a four-point ball game. Calm and cool. And his free throws put a bow on this one. Nice way to finish the game up. So it's a narrow victory for the Lakers, pulling it out for the W. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them. They had to dig deep to come out on top. Yeah, you know, some teams might buckle under the pressure towards the end. The crowd was so amped up, such a hostile environment. But they stood tall and got the win. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? All right, Allie, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for tuning in. We'll see you later.